As you can probably tell by yesterday's video, I was tired at the end of the day. And as soon as we got back last night, I crashed for like nine hours. And it was so good. And I'm refreshed, revitalized, and ready to go out and shoot again. I'm here at Baker Beach. And I'm realizing now as I get here that this isn't actually the place I shot last time I was in San Francisco, which was a really cool location. It's a little bit farther away from the bridge, but I decided I shot the other location last time. Why not try something different? So I'm gonna come up to Baker Beach and if it's terrible, I'll walk farther along the beach down to the other location and yeah, I guess hopefully let's get some shots this morning. I'm down on Baker Beach, not sure how well you'll be able to see me. This place is really beautiful. I didn't come here last time, I was basically, you can see the Golden Gate Bridge that way. There's like rocks and a little point. On the other side of that, there's another tiny little beach that's really cool because you get really close to the bridge. This is a really cool spot as a tourist to just be able to come to a beach like this hang out and have the Golden Gate Bridge as your backdrop as you lay on the beach. I mean, if it wasn't freezing outside, it would be absolutely perfect for that. But from a photography standpoint, it also works. It's a bit of a classic image, uh, maybe a bit of a simple image. Long lens that way, straight at the Golden Gate Bridge with the rocks in the foreground, and it's coming out pretty nice. But as you guys know, I'm a foreground hunter. and I love foregrounds, I love the anchor on images. So I'm gonna get right up close there and try to use some of these rocks and these crashing waves as my foreground. And hopefully it turns out cool. It does not look like I'm gonna get any light at all, but a location like this, sometimes you just don't need any light. This is cool as it is. I was hoping for a little bit more drama, a little bit better foreground, and I think that's on the other side, on the other beach that I discovered last time. So I'm trying to decide now if I have time to run to the other side and try to get shots over there. And instead of actually making a decision, I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> so I guess, um, ah, let's make a run for it. Let's try to get to the other side. It was just a terrible decision to try to get to the next location. Look at the sky back this way. Purples, blues, pinks, absolutely beautiful. Decision two, do I run back down or do I go that way? And again, I'm talking to the camera instead of making decisions. Actually, you know what? This might be a cool shot. Straight down this path into the sea with those beautiful colors. Check that, not a good photo. Moving on, I, I think I've come too far up this hill to go back, even if the light's beautiful down there, and I'm kicking myself. I'm all sorts of frazzled this morning, guys. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm gonna go back up the hill. So, a bit of a fail, obviously, this morning. That's Marshall's Beach down there, the location I scouted last time I was here. That is my favorite place to photograph the Golden Gate Bridge. You've got all these rocks, you've got the waves crashing up. Awesome place for long exposure photos, early in the morning or at sunset. But I want to explain something to you guys. I busted at Baker's Beach, but that's part of being a professional photographer. Sometimes you bust. 
it would be really easy for me to keep going back to the exact same location, the ones I've scouted out and shooting similar images over and over again. But being a professional means trying to always find new compositions, new angles and new photos. So to, this morning might have seemed like a fail, but it was a victory in the way that now I know what's at Baker's Beach. Now I know what I could photograph there if I need to shoot something in the future that works at Baker's Beach. Like somebody walking romantically along the beach. I could shoot that there. I can't shoot that at Marshall's Beach. So a victory this morning, even though I didn't get great images. And I'm just knocking off one image as the light hits these peaks in the background now. Um, six stop ND, four stop medium grad ND, and about 13 seconds F16. And actually, it's a really beautiful composition, a bit of a hero shot here of Golden Gate Bridge. And with this photo, maybe this morning wasn't such a bust after all. At the end of the day, I think I got a couple photos I like down here. They're not the mind-blowing, really dramatic, perfect light photos that I was hoping for, but that might have to wait until tomorrow or the next day. I am still happy I forced my way through this morning, even if I've kind of messed up and missed the good light. Now, I guess it's time to go see what Jody's up to um, and maybe explore more of San Francisco other than just the bridge. So, turns out, there's some hills in San Francisco. This road is steep. It's probably impossible for you guys to tell here, but the cars are like parked sideways. It's crazy. Uh, Jody and I are just exploring some of the sites uh, around here. We're going to Lombard Street, Fisherman's Wharf, uh, and doing stuff like that before going out and finding another location to shoot photography. And I guess all that is dependent on whether or not we make it to the top of this hill. This is so steep. The cars have to park at 90 degrees according to the side. And I'm just guessing that so they don't roll away. Because any sort of angle park, they could just go straight down the hill. It's hilarious. Now that we climbed up, we get to go down. We're at Lombard Street. What did you, what are you on, man? What is that thing? It's crazy. Don't fall. <laughs> All over town, we've been seeing these motorized unicycles. That thing's crazy. Dude, just cruising down, filming himself, flowing down Lombard Street on his motorized unicycle. Absolutely love it. Next up in town is Fisherman's Wharf. This is my favorite part of San Francisco. Street performers, lots of food, lots of activity, lots of seagulls running around, and yeah, just an awesome vibe, this part of the city.
We got a little bit caught up exploring, hanging out, checking out like break dancers and street performers. So we're a little bit on the late side getting to sunset. I'm hoping to shoot sunset over at Fort Baker and it looks like a cool spot, but we got to get all the way across the bridge, find parking, and we've got really limited time to do it. So the most gangster trolley behind us. <laughs> they got Dr. Dre playing, gotta love that. Anyways, a bit of a hurry. We got like a 15 minute walk back to our hotel, pick up the car, and then hopefully a quick drive. It's Saturday in San Francisco and it's busy everywhere, but not nearly as busy as last time I was here. But places that are busy, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but I don't know how the word busy came out like that. But places that are busy no matter what time of year, no matter what time of day are always these viewpoints. My goal in this trip, as I kind of mentioned this morning, is to find new viewpoints and new places to photograph the Golden Gate Bridge. On my blog, I have a list of the best places to photograph the Golden Gate Bridge and coming back and trying new places is part of the fun. I didn't shoot Fort Baker, which is where we are now. It looks like it's gonna be awesome though. There's like a pier out there. There's the Golden Gate Bridge with some backlight, which actually might be really beautiful with these blue skies. And uh, I think this is gonna be really cool. I also see a puddle here and I love puddles. Ever since I was a little dude, ever since I was little BVS wearing gumboots stomping in puddles, I've always loved puddles. So I'm gonna check out this puddle, then I'm gonna head out that way and hopefully get some photos. <laughs> This Fort Baker spot is actually really cool, but it's missing my favorite thing in photography, a foreground. It was really good for portraits. I just shot a couple portraits of Jody leaning up against this railing at, on a 50 millimeter lens that look fantastic. It would also be great for portraits of the city or some like longer lens photos of the city because you've got downtown that way. So a really cool location. I do think though, if we walk right along the shore there, I'll be able to use this giant rock that's right in front of the Golden Gate Bridge as a bit of a foreground, as a bit of an anchor. So that's the plan right now is to hike over there and wait for sunset. Once again, doesn't look like I'm gonna get light today, just like no clouds in San Francisco. But uh, yeah, you can't complain when you're taking pictures of this. The rock here is extremely, extremely slippery, but it's absolutely stunning. There's like this green algae or kelp or something on it, and it's just making for a beautiful contrast, the reds to the green. And I'm right down on the rock. The rocks are so slippery that I'm standing in my socks because I was just sliding on my face and my shoes. But getting the shot, really happy with this composition. Light could be better, but yeah, this is kind of perfect. One of those shots came out really clean with like a nice sky and it looks like it's a little bit a little bit blown out in the background but I think I'll be able to bring a lot of that back in post processing. Now I think I'm going to wait until the blue hour, until the lights come on the bridge, we get a bit of blue in that sky and then basically the same shot. Right now there's a six stop ND and a four stop medium grad ND on. As the light drops I'll take off the six stop ND and keep shooting with the grad filter, I think, but we'll see how that goes. Right now, this is kind of perfect. Shooting photography at the Golden Gate Bridge, it doesn't get much better. So that was a really fun shoot. I was not expecting to be shooting down in the water like that. I got soaked again to my knees. That's like day two now that I've been hit by waves up to my knees. Note to self, next time I come to San Francisco, pack gumboots. In fact, I should probably just pack gumboots with me everywhere I go 
especially when I have a rental car at my disposal. But fun shoot. I was really, really focusing on trying to just get one really cool image. And I think I got two or three. So that was great. Tomorrow, back here in San Francisco, um, there's supposed to be a big storm coming in. So that might mean we can't shoot or it might mean epic photos. I guess we'll see what happens here tomorrow in San Francisco. More photography on the schedule, more exploring. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, 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 oh